So normally the reins would be attached to the bit, you know, and then you'd be pulling on his mouth to ask him to turn. Okay, so with these, with the bitless one, what it does, you'll see when you pull this, it tightens right here. Mm -hmm. And it goes up, you know, because you think, and it is, I do think it is kinder than a bit, but it's still pulling on their pole right here. So this is their pole between their ears. So it pulls, it tightens on their nose, the bridge of their nose, which they really don't appreciate particularly, and on their pole. So they get pole pressure and nose pressure when you pull. Okay, just so you know what you're doing. And if you pull real hard, I mean, these will stop, all my horses go real well in bitless bridles. But you can still annoy them if you pull too hard. And we really, really watch it with these horses that we don't annoy them because I don't want them to start keep doing this. So, and we just, and we are, the other thing, and I'll just get this out of the way, my respect lecture. But the main thing is around here, our horses, we treat with a huge amount of respect. Okay, I take care of them the way I would want to be taken care of. And I really completely believe if you respect these guys, they will respect you. Okay, so the way that you treat him, he'll treat you. Okay, so that is how we treat all of our animals out here, but especially the horses. Yes, here's the boy. So I completely believe that. Oh, oh. looking on the swimming pool. No, that's the dog swimming pool. Okay, so everything we can do, we try to do as kind as we can to the horses, and yet, I mean, you do have to be their leader. It's not like we never have to get on them, you know, but we do it in, the, in an effective way. So that's kind of my take on that. All right, All right. so I would like you to lead them. This to the... So this is hooked to a nose band. Come here. How big are these horns? This is not hot. When it gets hot, it won't be moving at all. Okay, so come over on this side. For some reason, I always lead from the left. The hand about, like I said, about 12, 18 inches all the way up there. And I do it over the top. And technically, this is wrapped around your hand. Not being a pill, but I took my dog to the emergency room. Okay. So follow me for a second. Okay. And so if you want to turn this way, what I usually do, and it's always hard to turn in the direction of the horse a lot of times, just kind of put your hand up, like when you lead them, kind of go like this, and then you've got your face. And then you run that way. Yep. You just get, yep, that's all you do. And he'll move out of your space. Like I said, he has really good manners. He stops when he stops. So go ahead and tell him, whoa, and whoa. stop walking. And he just stops. Good boy. Okay, let's walk on. And we, we're going to have to get on on the mounting deck right here because there's no stirrups. So you might have a little hard time getting on that bed otherwise. <laughs>